Hey there, Geeks. Tim with MajorGeeks.com. Today we're going to take a look at what is the dollar sign win reagent folder and can I delete it? Almost always when you see a dollar sign, that stands for a hidden file or folder. If you have File Explorer open, you can go to View, click on Options, click on the View tab, and here is your option, Hidden Files and Folders Don't Show or Show. Here is, I actually removed it while I was playing around. Let me show you because you can always put it back from your recycle bin. Here is the Win Reagent folder. You can click the delete key or you can right click and choose delete. Yes, you can delete it. So what is it? It has to do with Windows Update. So if you have a botched Windows Update, it's gonna keep files in there allowing you to roll back or bail out of a problematic Windows Update. So yes, you can delete it, but if you're looking for our opinion, I would not delete it. The reason for that is there's zero bytes. Let me show you again. In the folder is nothing. In the subdirectory scratch, nothing. It's taking up no space. Your computer's not going to run any faster. And really, you're going to possibly not be able to recover from Windows updates. So there's more negative than positive to deleting it. However, you can delete it. Now, most likely when you do another Windows update, that folder is going to come back or upgrade. That folder is going to come back again. Windows is pretty good about that stuff. For example, we have all these other guides down here. Check the video description. The Windows BT, see the dollar sign again? Sys reset, get current. All these files have a purpose for existing. You know, some of the stuff like Windows.old, that takes up a ton of space. And if you've done a, a Windows 10 upgrade, you might want to get rid of that. But check those articles if you want. So once again, not any big deal, I would leave it be. However, there is some situations where Windows updates botch and deleting that folder might be required to try and reset what you got going on in Windows Update for problems. It's one of many possible fixes. So you may need to get rid of it at some point, and now you know how to get to the hidden files and folders and delete it if need be. There you have it. As always, my friends, in the bottom right corner, you'll see a little Major Geeks logo pop up way over here. And if you line your mouse over that, you can click subscribe, which we really, really appreciate. And thank you for watching, as always. See ya.